So if you want better mechanics, you made it to the right place. Fortnite is 10 times more fun when you're actually decent at the game. And by now, it's definitely not a secret that it's pretty difficult to get super good at the game. So these tips I have for you today are going to be shortcuts on how to get better fast. And as long as you actually take the time to learn these, you will see improvement from yourself that you have never seen before. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first thing we got is edit distance. Now edit distance is very important for having good momentum, just like in this example here, but it also plays a huge role in getting pieces first. So if you play on high ping, you have to learn how to edit from the furthest distance as possible. Somebody that does this really well is Slight. I feel like Slight has almost mastered this skill and the reason why he's so good at piece control is because he gets every piece first. And as you can see in this example here, what he's doing is claiming all of the pieces before his opponent can. And you can see in this example here, he's really good at playing from a distance. It allows him to take shots from better angles and also keeps him in control of the fight. So if you have an opponent and you play from a distance like this, you can completely cut them off by building your own wall instead of resetting the one that you edited through. This will pretty much help you stay 100% in control of the fight. Especially with the SMG meta, it's really important to be able to play from distance like this and learn how to create that distance in between you and your opponent. And moving on to tip number two, this one is super underrated, especially for controller players. So go into your settings for this one. We're going to our controller binds and put crouch on your right stick with your build mode open. The default bind for this is usually to rotate your builds, but you're going to want to use it for your crouch because it's so much more important. And what this allows you to do is use an exploit in the game where you can come up to the wall and you look down into the bottom left and you crouch with your builds out. And as long as you practice it and angle it correctly, you can build through people's walls and establish full piece control without them even knowing. And you can even do it through your own wall to throw your opponent off that much more. This one is pretty situational, but if you're in game and you have a really long fight and you can take someone's wall, try this out and see if you can get a stare into their box it'll totally throw them off and moving on to tip number three this one is super good for pushing opponents so let's say you're going to meet head to head with your opponent after your triple edit instead of going through your triple edit and going for a 50 50 a better option here would be to sidestep to your right and try to establish peace control and go for a nice right hand peek this is one you see all the top tier pros doing and once i actually started getting in the habit of doing this i would always take a second to think before i go for a 50 50 and really try to actually just get some good chip damage on somebody by either establishing good peace control or getting a nice shot off just by repositioning and moving on to tip number four. So this one is pretty confusing, so you gotta listen carefully. I use confirm on release, but I don't use confirm on release. Only reason I have confirm on release on is pretty much just for a safety net. So if I miss an edit, confirm on release will pretty much save me so I don't lose my momentum. And so that means that I confirm all of my edits, right? Well, yes, most of them. Here's an example of me confirming my edits on this stair and this floor. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. This is me using confirm on release. This is much slower. Without confirming, it takes a lot longer for your finger to come off the trigger for the edit to confirm rather than just confirming the edit yourself. Because if you get the timing down, you can edit way way faster than confirm on release ever could be. This also does go hand in hand with ping. So if you're on 20 to 30 ping or any higher, you're definitely gonna wanna be confirming your edits. So now if you take all these tips and put them together, you will see so much improvement. I'm hyped for you. And listen, if you watch this video to this point, go down in the comments and comment controller max. I wanna see who actually watches my videos and who the real ones are. I try to heart every single comment that comments my secret keyword at the end of my videos. So if you ever get a heart from me, that just means I really appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy the one on screen as well. So go ahead and click it and I'll see you in there. Thanks for watching, yo. Much love. Peace.